The total volume of about 2 trillion Naira transactions valued at 263.78 trillion Naira were recorded in the first six months of 2020 as data on electronic payment channels in the Nigerian banking sector show. The National Bureau of Statistics disclosed this in its selected banking sector data reports for the second quarter, which was released on Wednesday. In the report, online transfer transactions dominated the volume of transactions recorded. The MBS disclosed that 1 billion 317 million 621 thousand six hundred and eighty six volume of online transfer transactions valued at 72.25 trillion naira were recorded in the second quarter of 2020. In terms of credit to the private sector, the total value of credit allocated by the bank stood at 18.82 trillion naira as of the second quarter of 2020. And economist Gospel now joins us uh, to discuss this. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Good afternoon. First off, are you impressed with this figure as a booster for the cap a cashless campaign? Um, well, it's quite impressive, but then again, it was um, anticipated based on the events and um, the lockdown and all that during the first half of the year. So um, we're not as surprised as we ought to be. Um, prior to now, it was expected that we would have done more in terms of online transactions. Is this a step in the right direction con on cashless transactions? Maybe yes, but that's up to the um, regulatory institutions to uh, find a way to make this sustainable and probably create incentives around the sustainability. Because uh, in my own opinion, I think the numbers happened by chance because people didn't have um, opportunities to go out and not have physical transactions, they rather do digital. Yes, you did mention sustainability, and let's talk a bit uh, about that. Obviously, the COVID-19 pandemic is a major factor responsible for this, but do you think the figure will drop uh, as the lockdown is eased further? Uh, well, I don't see it dropping significantly low because um, the um, new normal has come to stay, in quotes. So people have adopted to a new lifestyle as a result of the pandemic. There are still fears of the pandemic outside in as much as it looks as though people are not taking cognizance of the COVID-19 safety guidelines. So um, would it rise? Maybe slightly, yes, but it would not go as low as it used to be, you know. So um, there's a whole lot more going on in the digital economy now to empower around online transactions, transfers, and payments. So I see it um, sustain it's relatively high in the subsequent times and quarters that we're about to go into. But as I mentioned earlier on, I hope that banks and the regulatory institutions will put more efforts in terms of uh, sustainability and encouraging more of online transactions, especially on the security side of, of, of financial payments. Mm. That MBS report was quite detailed, having you know, enough information on the volume and value of online transactions this uh, past quarter. So how important is this data in the fight against corruption? Is this something the EFCC and uh, other anti-graft agencies should look into? Potentially, yes. Um, the reason why I use the word potentially is because um, the use of online transactions or, yes, the use of online transactions by these security institutions goes way beyond the fact that people are now doing a lot of online transactions itself. So there has to be a lot of cyber security there has to be a lot, a lot of data privacy um, engagement. There has to be a lot of even institutionalizing the process through which online transfers are made and ensuring that those links are encrypted and all that. So it's, it's a lot of um, structure that has to come into place in terms of online transactions and uh, financial payments on digital platforms before we can now talk of security personnel and institutions making the most of all of these units or platforms for and um, corruption because even at that you have another um, you have a, a a conversation where individuals and people who are doing stuff online i mean negative online transactions are also doing as well as other people as um, who, who are using these platforms conventionally for the right purpose so it's it's a mix so the, the the regulatory bodies may have to do a lot in terms of installation sustainability cyber security to ensure that uh, security personnel can take it forward so on the flip side, how vigilant should we be in checking cybercrime and online fraud? How vigilant in terms of the consumers? 
Yes. So I think, in my opinion, this, this, is a, this is a good step in the right direction in terms of the increase in online transfers and e-payment transactions. But the financial institutions will have to take a step in terms of being proactive on consumer education and fin online financial literacy to teach people how to be more cautious about uh, phishing attacks, cybersecurity, protecting their pains. A whole lot more has to do in terms of consumer education. So yes, the average consumer needs to be vigilant, but there needs to be a lot more messaging and awareness out there. So this is an opportunity for us to uh, uh, move the Nigerian consumers into an online transaction space. But a lot of education has to come on board in, in terms of security. All right, just one more question before I let you go. We see that the World Bank uh, released statistics saying that uh, Nigeria is heading for its worst recession in the next, uh, in the past four decades. And then the MBS is releasing this data showing so much cash in circulation. How then do you marry these two information? Okay, so, so the, the cash in circulation does not necessarily equate um, economic activities or, or a rise in economic activities. All right, so um, recession speaks to the volume of economic activities over a period of time, as it increased or as it decreased. So it's, it's a different yardstick or metrics when you look at it vis-a-vis -vis cash, online cash transfers and all that. So it may be a subset of one of the variables in terms of measuring um, um, recession, recession, but sorry, economic activities, but it does not necessarily dictate or they are not uh, mutually they do not go along on the same line in terms of analysis and all that. So it's, it's a different ball game in, in, entirely. One talks about the macroeconomics of, of um, business activities. This one talks about, this is just like a microeconomy, one part of the whole spectrum. So it's, it's, it's a, a different ball game entirely. But if Nigeria will go into recession, it's not a subject of if, it's actually when. Hmm. Gloom statistics there. And uh, thanks for your thoughts again. Thank you for having me.